Hey, this is OXDF. One of the benefits of using libraries to do things like generate JWTs or do cryptography is they put safeguards in place to help prevent the developer from making mistakes. So today we're going to look at forging a JWT, a Java web token, um, for an algorithm confusion attack. And uh, specifically, this came up in the Cyber Monday box from Hack the Box, um, but it's generic and applies anywhere. Um, basically, the way an algorithm confusion attack works is the JWT says in the header what kind of algorithm it's going to use, which is basically asymmetric or symmetric keys. Um, symmetric just means you know you both have a shared there's a shared secret for both uh, encrypt or signing or uh, encrypting or for verifying decrypting um, uses the same key. Um, asymmetric allows you to do things like have one server sign it with a private key and then other servers can trust it because that it can make its public key known and then they can look at it and go, yep, okay, it was signed by that key, you know, by that private key. Um, the problem is if the developer assumes, oh, we're just only always going to use asymmetric and doesn't actually check what is in the JWT function um, or header metadata, um, they might just like read in that public key and then pass the public key and the JWT to some verify function. And that verify function then might check and say, oh, well, the JWT says it's using uh, symmetric encryption. So this must be the symmetric key and uh, validate it. And that means as an attacker, I can grab the public key, use it as a symmetric key, and boom, I can forge cookies. That's that's not good. Um, so in solving the box, um, I was doing just this and I was using a Python library, the PyJWT library. And I got to the point where I wanted to forge the cookie and it would not let me sign uh, in a symmetric key way using a secret that looked like a public key. Um, this was annoying. I moved to a different tool. I used JWT tool, which is designed for red teamers. It's meant for the offensive thing. Um, but I wanted to explore that a little bit and look at why, 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 where this safeguard takes place and can I, can I remove it? Can I hack my way around it? So um, in this video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at where the error comes from and we're going to figure out how to bypass it. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we're going to start. We've got the public key. And the public, you know, what, what the server makes public is, let's see, we'll take a look at this jwks.json file. Um, basically, it's RSA um, using the RS-256 algorithm, and it gives us the N and the E values. Um, now, these are base64 encoded values, but we'll, we'll decode them and turn them into numbers in just a moment. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all you need for a public key. So we will, before we start, what I'm gonna first going to do is I'm going uh, to start with Python. And I'm going to use the uh, VNV. Um, I will say my Python, when I run Python, it is uh, Python 3 by default. I don't even install Python 2 anymore. Um, so you can see I'm running Python 3.11 here. Um, so if now I use the VENV module to make a folder called VENV, and that's going to be our virtual environment. Because if we're going to mess with libraries that pip, we pip installed, we definitely want to do that within a virtual environment. So now we'll source VNV uh, bin activate. And now we are working within that. So if we do like which Python, you can see our Python is actually in this you know, virtual environment right here. Uh, so now if we do pip install upgrade, and we'll just do, I do pip out of habit, we'll do pi JWT, we need pi crypto dome, and we need uh, cryptography. Um, now I first, let's see, what did I mess up here? Pi RYP crypto dome, let's try that. There we go. Uh, and you can see we're installing all of these things into, ooh, we, we had a failure, let's see. Um, talking and typing at the same time here. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just gonna grab this from notes over here and paste it in. And I must have had a typo in cryptography because it looks fine now. Um, we can see anyway that we are actually installing into, let's see if we can find where we have a path somewhere. Um, you know, we're already packed, already, you know, this requirement's already satisfied in venv lib, you know, this within the virtual environment. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyway, we've got that installed now. And now we can just drop into Python and take and start to play around. Um, we'll start, obviously, we can, we'll need, uh, oops, JWT. Uh, we can do from crypto dot public e import RSA. Nice. And we need from base 64 import uh, URL, so I can I tab this? Nope, it's URL safe B64 decode. Um, it's very important you get the URL safe one here because if you don't, it'll still work, but it'll just be wrong. So um, we want to start with, let's open up a new, let's say we vim that uh, file here, make this a little smaller, and let's get the end and there we go, and any on the screen. We'll start with E because it's easy. Let's grab that. We can say uh, URL 
save base 64. Oops. We'll do, we need that, we'll need that in bytes like that. And we can see the result. I um, mean, you can see right here with, with E in RSA, it's very common to get the one zero 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 one um, value. So we can even see that in hex, but then we'll, we'll convert that to an integer. So that'll be um, int from bytes like that. And we got that six, five, five, three, seven, very common E feels like we're in a good spot. So we can now say E is equal to that. Um, we'll say, we'll do the same thing for N. It's gonna be a much larger number. Let's grab this and paste it there. And we have incorrect padding. Um, I hate that Python makes you do this. Uh, we'll add padding and we got N. So that there's our N, um, much larger, but looks good. So we can say N equals that. Um, now that we have our int values, uh, making a key is as simple as saying rsa.construct, and we're gonna pass it n comma e in a tuple like that. And now we can look at key, like uh, we can look at key, it's just got our n and our e, but we can do dot export key like that. And we actually get a key. So we'll actually call this a secret equals that. Um, we can print secret dot decode if we wanna see it look pretty, but it's there. Okay. so. Now we've, we've all, all we've done here is convert our public key to a public key. That's nothing exciting. Um, let's look at the JWT. And I've got over here a JWT that I can play with that came from, again, from the uh, Cyber Monday box. So if we look at JWT.decode and we paste in that, and then we're gonna have to give it the uh, key. So we'll say secret and uh, algorithms. And in, again, in this, in this library, you have to specify algorithms to do a decode. So there's no way to, um, that's, I guess you could pass in both if you say either one could work. Um, RS-256, and we can decode that. And you can see right there, we get back that decodes to uh, user ID is two, username is that, role is that. Makes perfect, sure. Um, so what I want to do here is I can say like data equals, and I can say data um, sub role is equal to admin. This is, we're trying to hack something, right? So we're going to change our role. Now we want to do encode. So we can do jwt.encode uh, data secret algorithm. And if we do, uh, if we try to do uh, RS-256 again, it's actually not going to work because our key that we ended our secret is just the public key. It doesn't have the private bit. Um, so that, that's kind of a known expect, uh, ex failure there. But what happens if we then say HS-256, which is the uh, symmetric key? You'd think this would work fine. Um, but, oh, algorithm doesn't take a list. Let's just fix that. And we get this, uh, yeah, so right here, specified key is an asymmetric key or 509 certificate. Uh, it should not be used as an HMAC secret. No, I say, but I want to. And it says, no, you can't. That's all I got. Um, this is where I gave up uh, while solving the box and went and just got JWT tool, which is meant to hack things, right? Um, but I don't like this giving up there, right? So let's take a look. Um, we're going to go down here and get out of this. We can do vim, vnv lib uh, python site packages and now we're going to go into let's see py jwt oops i did not mean to do that um what else do we got here that is not what we want let's make this bigger um packages uh, jwt there it is and here we go okay so let's take a look at where this crash happened so we are getting this we're in uh jwt Oh, right here, the right here. JWT algorithms.py line 268. Uh, so we'll go to algorithms.py to, and we will make this big. I'm in Vim so I can uh, put colon 268, just like that. And here we are. And you can see right here, here is our here is our error. And it's coming from is PEM format key bytes or is SSH key format. So I think we're in a I think we're in a PEM. So let's see. Uh, if we do is PEM format. We can see this is being imported from the utils file um, in the same directory. That's what that means. So we, that's what that's importing that function from there. So let's op, go into utils. Um, already right at the top here, we can see, I guess we're not at the top. Um, but if we do uh, is, pem, oops, is pem format, you can see right here, um, here is the function is pem format. All it's doing is making a bool out of this uh, search and the search is just literally looking for um, this key right here. Um, this this looking for matching on this kind of certificate and 
yeah, so that that's basically it. Um, we can. So how are we going to hack this, right? How are we going to get around it? I'm just going to return false <laughs> and comment that out. There we go. So now his pen format is always going to return false um, when running this code within this virtual environment. And again, that's important because I don't want to mess with like my system wide stuff. Um, so I'm going to break, drop out of my Python shell and go back into it. Um, I could up arrow a bunch of times, but if you will humor me, I've got a bunch of this stuff um, in a cheat sheet over to the side so we can quickly get back to where we were, um, paste in this, and you can just see we imported, we got the E and the N, we got the key, we got the secret. Um, we can do secret and see that it is our key. Um, we'll grab that JWT to get data and we'll you know set our role. Oops, uh, let's see, we need to do data equals, set the role, so now we can see data, perfect, for an admin, and now we want to sign. So we can do JWT.encode, uh, data, secret, uh, algor algorithm equals HS256. And it gives us a JWT. And that's because we went in and we modified the library. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to show in this video. Just uh, don't be scared of Python libraries. Now, you don't want to, again, you don't want to go messing around in your system's pipe, you know, um, library place, but make a virtual environment and then go in and play with the code. You can modify that. You can change things. You can hack around with it. And then when you're done, you come here and, uh, you know, you could save this for some reason, but if you don't want to, you deactivate and you remove RMRF VENV. It's gone forever. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, I will talk to you next time.